All right, this is Premium Fuel Magazine. We've got Chris DeBoard, professional, guys. professional drift driver, and uh, we're going to take a look at his uh, LS-powered uh, RX-7. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and tell us about this machine that you have here. It's a 93 RX-7 with a 02 LQ4 out of a Chevy Express van with uh, Silverado heads, making uh, about 400 horse, plus or minus. Sticky swap kit, uh, full poly bushings, angle kit, uh, a lot of just little stuff here and there. But uh, yeah, we did everything ourselves, and like I said, you know, trying to build it, making sure it runs right. So dialing it in is definitely the big thing, and uh, getting used to a new setup over the rotary. So, uh, so this is a, uh, a six-liter motor that's staying over here. Yeah, yeah, this is a 6.0, uh, yeah, Chevy powered. Uh -huh. so, what, uh, what transmission are you running? Uh, Chevy T56 uh, out of a 04 GTO modded for a uh, Camaro SS shifter with center force dual friction clutch. All right, and so uh, if we go around the car here, I see you've got uh, these wheels. They don't they don't look like Mazda wheels uh, over here in the back. No, I've got uh, just XXRs in the front and some replicas out back. Uh, I mean, you know, if the cheap wheels do the job, if you're able to make it, you know, work, that's yeah. what matters. Those are the Cobra wheels off the Mustang. <laughs> yeah, those are the Cobra reps, Cobra reps. Uh -huh. All right, and then, uh, let's see, on the inside, you got your, uh, your full cage. Yeah, I'm running a uh, SNW custom cage uh, modded up by Unique Precision Rotary. Uh, welded that up last year. So it, it runs pretty nice, a nice 10 point with ladder bars uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff. And plus, I was able to get a little bit of bracing across the across the dash in there, too. All right, and so I, I see you've got the uh, quick disconnect steering wheel. The Nardi wheel with the NRG quick release hub. Uh, being that I'm 6'1 and the car is, you know, kind of hard to get into with the door bars and everything, I'm really glad I got that. Plus, I was able to take the stock out and stuff like that to really make it easier to get in and out. Okay, cool. And then uh, what do you have going on for the for the rear end? Uh, rear end stock Mazda LSD out of an FD uh, with everything. Else. I mean, it's running the factory manual ratio. Uh -huh. So nothing too crazy back there, factory axles. Uh, but a lot of people upgrade to 8.8, so hopefully maybe if I make a little bit of money this season, we can do that. All right, so uh, you've got a, a whole lot going on here yep. with your vehicle. How long have you been drifting? I've uh, been drifting. I started drifting when I was 18. I took a couple years off because I was in the military. Uh, Came back with this uh, in 2013 to Summit Point. It was my first time back in April 2013. Hit a wall doing 50 miles an hour. Uh -huh. uh, put it back together, drove it back home to Rockville, and now here we are. <laughs> All right, so if somebody wanted to get into this sport mm -hmm. and, you know, they have a typical rear-wheel drive car, whatever that is, you know, what what do you think is the first thing that they should do to, uh, to, to prepare their car to get, on the, get onto the track? Uh, buy something you don't care if you break it or if you wreck it. Uh, I, I had started out with an S14 when I was younger, uh, threw some Megan coils on it, welded the diff, uh, and then had an exhaust and an intake, and that was like 140 horsepower, but it was all you really needed to have a little bit of fun. So you don't need a thousand horsepower to have fun anymore. But you can't do it in a car that you love, huh? That you can't do. Yeah, I had to really try. This was my daily driver for a couple years, and then okay. uh, 2014 is when we retired her for full race car duty. So we've had a couple rotaries since then. But hey, at the same time, you got to know when. Hey, got to bite the bullet. So. All right, sounds good, man. Good luck to you. Hey, thanks a lot, Stu. All right.